Hello class, please take out markers, brown, red, and black. If you don't have these colors, try to match the best that you can because we're making another holiday poster. This one is going to be Rudolph. This is our final holiday poster and then it's going to be time for winter break. Please take out brown, red, and black. We will be drawing a Rudolph reindeer face. Let's start by opening our red. If you don't have these markers, then use whatever you have. Let's begin. Make an oval in the middle of your paper, kind of towards the bottom, not too big, not too small. Make sure there's space on both sides of your paper because this is going to be your Rudolph's nose. And then draw a small circle inside for the reflection. After this, please color in your Rudolph nose all the way. You can use crayons, colored pencils, markers, whatever you have. When we get back from the paint from the break, we'll be using paint, so please make sure you buy some watercolor paint. Eight colors is all you need in your palette. Please finish coloring your Rudolph nose all the way in, staying in the lines. When you're done with his nose, with the shiny reflection inside, then it's time to make his head shape. Please take brown and make a letter U shape that snugs around his nose. Snugs around his nose. Stay nice and close with your letter U shape that snugs around his nose. Then after that, draw the rest of his head. Another letter U that joins it. Then draw his ears. It's like a curve, like the curve of a leaf, and then another curve, and then go on the other side and make a curve, almost like an upside down letter U, and then make like a football shape. That's what his ears look like. <clears throat> and they hang down a little bit. After you're done with his ears, then open up your black and make his eyes two uh -oh. two black eyes two eyes that are black um then color them in and then we're going to color his head in after that Pay attention to how close he put his eyes next to his nose. I think my eyes should have been closer to his nose, but I didn't want him to look like a pig. Then it's time to draw his antlers. We should be coloring this in next, so let's do that. And then we can draw his antlers. Coloring your Rudolph's head. If you're jumping along at different parts of this, make sure you don't skip any part. Eyes, ears, and nose. We're going to give him a mouth, but the mouth is underneath. I'm outlining to keep what I drew safe so that I don't bump into anything.
This is a lot of brown to color in, but keep going. We'll draw his antlers after this. Feel free to rotate your paper. Make sure your marker cap is on the back. This is a lot of work. Keep your concentration up. That means stay focused and keep going. Your concentration. Endurance, persistence. These are things that you can be getting dojo points for right now. Dojo points for everyone who's sitting up tall. Their markers are nice and neat. Or your crayons or colored pencils are nice and neat. Your supplies. And you're coloring in your Rudolph face with brown. Dojo points for everyone that I can see their cam their work on their camera now because everyone's just coloring in their Rudolph brown and his ears as well. <laughs> this looks like a Rudolph pig. Um, keep your brown open and then draw his antlers. Touch the top of his head and go over and up. Touch the top of his head and go over and up. Then give him some branches like a tree. Another one right there and another one right there. And another one right there and another one right there. You can thicken up his antlers a little bit by outlining, forming them the way that you want them to be. Antlers are thick and wavy a little bit. They should be sharp at the ends also, unless they're broken. After you're done with your antlers, then let's take our black. Oh, we'll also need yellow. Let's take our black and make a smile down here. Under his nose. After you make your smile down here. Then it's time for us to, um, you can outline your Rudolph. Okay, but first let's take our yellow. If you're having a hard time keeping up today, it's okay. I'm going a little bit out of sequence with things. But this is such a simple drawing that I, I'm sure that you'll be able to keep up. Very simple drawing with three colors plus yellow. Make a yellow ball under his chin. It's the bell. After you make the yellow ball, then take your black marker and make a circle in the inside and a line going down. Now, Let's outline everything. Gently draw a black line around the bell. It's almost, this is almost like an icon. It looks like the symbol or a logo of a bell because it's so simple. Then, this is going to take concentration. If you don't know how to do this, this is optional. You don't have to outline if you don't want to. Outline only if you're going to be able to keep the line really close to his face with no white paper showing. It's almost time for us to share our work. If you'd like to share your work or a work in progress, please raise your hand and zoom. Now...
I'm turning my paper because I'm outlining everything. I'm making sure that my hands are in the air so that I'm not rubbing, rubbing the marker work all around. I'm staying nice and neat. Don't press on your paper with your arms because you might smudge your work. Make sure these fingers are not rubbing on your paper, only the markers. Outline your whole root off and then when you're finished, close your markers up, close your supplies up, put everything away. If you need to know which type of paint to buy, I can send you a link. Just email me and ask for the Amazon link and I'll send you the best priced watercolor tray. Because in a couple of weeks, when we come back from break, we will be painting. All of my markers are closed, nice and neat. Nothing's rolling around. I like to present my work. Hi, my name is Miss French. This is my Rudolph. I was nervous at first. I didn't think it looked like a reindeer at all. But through these symbols that we all know, with a bright, shiny rose, nose, <laughs> and a bell, we know that this is Rudolph, especially with the antlers. Thank you. If you're ready to share your work, raise your hand and zoom now. Thank you.